Electronic sports, or eSports, is a term used to describe organized video game competitions. Although not widespread until the past decade, the popularity of eSports has been on the rise and continues to grow each year. Most games featured in these championships are very strategic in nature, so it's important for professional players to understand the trends of their opponents. Unfortunately, there aren't any effective systems in place that support such an analysis. Most players simply watch replays of a full match and work from there. This is where TrueSight, our video game match analysis visualization, comes in. Utilizing data from the popular game Dota 2, we have designed an interactive system that supports the deep exploration of competitive strategies. So first off, the two most important variables of a game like Dota 2 are location and time. We have created an interactive map and timeline for users to both see when and where specific game events happen. So if we look at the map here, we can see all of these plots of each team as indicated by color. Although right off the bat, we can see a nice overview of both teams and where their areas of focus are, our main goal is to analyze the strategy of a specific team. We provide users with a checklist of events to the right of the map so they can either add or remove events and players from the map. So let's focus on Team 2 since they were the winners of this particular match. Right now, all we can see is one shade for the entire team. However, we provide the flexibility to also color code by individual player with this drop down menu. Alright, so we have the map how we want it. So what? This is where everybody on Team 2 has been on the map. That doesn't tell us much. But, utilizing both D3 and Cross Filter, the map and timeline are connected. Users can select a specific time frame of the match, scrub through the timeline, and see a progression of a team or player's path. Furthermore, if the user would like to see what a particular plot point on the timeline or map is, they need only hover over it to view a pop-up dialog providing details on the source, target, and type of event it was. Brushing is also a big feature of TrueSight. If we notice a particular area on the map and want to see when it happened, we can easily do this by selecting the points of interest, which will then be highlighted both on the map and timeline. So if we look at this dark purple player up here at the top, we can see that he was focusing on killing creeps. For the non-Dota players out there, creeps are computer-generated enemies rather than human opponents. Looking at both the map and the timeline, we can see the path he took, moving from north to northwest, then all the way over to northeast. In addition to the map and timeline, we also have stack graphs to the left of the map. Through user research, we discovered that the accumulation of gold is a big indicator of events happening, since gold is acquired any time a match event occurs. Therefore, our default view is a stacked graph focused on gold acquired per minute, since this shows spikes in gold accumulation. However, we can also see an accumulated view of gold acquired. Right now, we're displaying gold for Team 1. However, the gold line overlaying this stacked graph is actually the gold acquired for all of Team 2. As you can see, initially both teams were pretty equal, however, Team 2 jumped ahead about 12 minutes in. If you want to compare to a specific opposing team member, you can also do that by utilizing this drop-down menu. In addition to gold, we also provide stacked graphs for Team Denies, Team Kills, and Team Experience. Our final viz is a customizable sunburst diagram. The player can then understand who the most efficient players were, who each team member attacked the most, and so on. Let's say we want to see which type of healing spell Team 2 used and who used it the most. All we have to do is go to this drop down and change the core to healing, change this drop down from attacker to inflictor, click on Team 2 in the sunburst, and a nice animation plays, zooming in on the details. As we hover over sunburst items, we also have a breadcrumb trail above showing where the user is in the sunburst. So it looks like Mechanism was used and solely used by Tidehunter, who primarily healed himself and Furion. And once we're done, we can zoom back out to see the overview. And one more nifty feature, the sunburst also dynamically changes based off of the time period chosen in the timeline. We designed this viz with more than just Dota 2 in mind, so we hope to take this approach to other popular games like Call of Duty, Halo, and many more. With TrueSight, players will now be able to further understand their opponents, contributing to an even more competitive gaming ecosystem.